First tonight, the National Weather Service still on surveying damage tonight. Now this is a look here behind us at several areas of that damage. Now we do know that three tornadoes hit the Miami Valley. That is confirmed a total of nine now confirmed for the state. Neighbors cleaning up the mess tonight. Take a look at the videos fallen trees, roofs blown off. In fact, more than 1800 customers remain without power tonight. Now the NWS confirming an EF2 tornado along the Auglaise and Mercer County line. Another EF2 and cold water in Mercer and EF1 confirmed in Dark County. That's where the city of Greenville coming together to clean up damage all over that area. That includes the high school football stadium and tennis courts. Now Lydia Bice is live outside Greenville High School tonight. So Lydia, was there any damage to the actual school building itself? So luckily, no, there was no damage done to the actual high school building here in Greenville. However, they still are without power in that building, which is why classes were canceled today. Now, if you look up above me here, that is what used to be the press box of the football stadium here at Greenville High School. And in addition to that, there were equipment sheds and part of the tennis courts, which you're looking at right now with major damage. Now, it's not just damage to the school district here either, but this entire surrounding neighborhood. That pine tree kind of hangs over on our side, but it was completely uprooted, took out a lot of our fencing and then fell into our neighbor's yard. So it went across three yards. Greenville residents coming together on Wednesday to assess damage after Tuesday's storms while offering one another a helping hand. Neighborhoods right next to Greenville High School near Greenville City Park took a major beating with trees uprooted, debris everywhere, and downed power lines. Lonnie Moyer was on his porch until the last second. And it started the hail and the heavy rain and that wind started kicking up and my neighbor, he ran for his house and my mother and I got inside and I didn't find out until afterwards. My neighbor just barely made it in the house. Moyer can see the Greenville High School football stadium from his front yard, which was also hit hard on Tuesday night with its press box destroyed. The high school's tennis courts now have trees on top of the nets, but despite the damage, Doug Fries, the superintendent of Greenville City Schools, was able to stay positive. Basically, we're gonna go out and try to assess what, what the damage is here at the stadium and around the school. Uh, we're encouraged that right now we don't think any issues inside of our buildings other than we're lacking power. Despite the destruction that Greenville is facing, speaking with residents on Wednesday served as a reminder that neighbors still want to help one another in times of need. And then we have Mr. Ebby, the head baseball coach, came over and helped us this morning with most of this tree. Uh, but yeah, you just hear chainsaws all throughout the neighborhood, generators. For the most part, we are a pretty tight community and do help one another out when, you know, the need arises. Now, if you are a Greenville resident who was impacted by last night's storms, head to the Greenville Police Department's Facebook page where they share what you should do to or best steps to get rid of debris on your property, as well as some other storm management tips. Back to you.